everyone this is PhD natural me and welcome back to my channel you know my husband saying there's no downtime in the RV is so true so true um, I have a sewing machine here Let's see if you can see it <clears throat> it's a brother and it was ooh, sorry about the squeakiness it was lent to me so that I can do a little bit of sewing I redid the top of my quilt with oh let me see if I can grab it this color fabric but let me show you not this outside I like the inside of it better so I redid my quilt with this inside just the top it's 21 years old and I just wanted to keep it a little bit longer so I'm just sewing some pillowcases to match the quilt along with a couple other pillowcases. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. Got my coffee. I think I'll move that completely clear out of the way so that I don't accidentally do anything. So I'm just going to show you what I have to do first. I have to... Ooh, that's so squeaky. So sorry, so sorry. I have to fill the bobbin took me a little bit of time to actually remember how to do this I had four sewing machines at one time four four along with a serger now I have none and I would love to have another sewing machine and I do like brother I like singer also so I'm just threading this here and running this thread through this little hole eye here maybe oh where are my glasses michael did i leave my glasses back there thank you okay i run it through this little hole here because it makes it so much easier to wind okay let's try that again Okay, put it on top of here. Put it on top of here, push it over and make sure it's on. And let it wind. Michael, one more time. <laughs> okay, what do you need? I need my scissors. I truly miss sewing. So I'm going to sew up the little projects that I have. I'm not sure if you can see this curtain. Let me see. This one right here doesn't have an edge on it. So I'm going to finish that. Okay, this is done this off and it tells you which direction to put this bobbin in so I'm gonna put this down in here make sure it runs on the underside of this little carriage I have to turn it back this way let me see if I can fix this thread this okay and thread the needle Bobbin thread. Perfect. 
perfect. I'm gonna put the cap back on. Uh oh, wait a minute. Still hanging out there. There we go. There we go. Now we can sew. I'm just ironing flat the seam. I don't have any of my old utensils <laughs> or like my pinking shears that I would use to cut the, the seam or edge it out. So, I, But I still flat in the seam out. I use a dry iron. Um, oops, I have to grab one thing. What I do here at the bottom, because it's just, I folded it in half, long wise, I just clip the end so that I can flatten out <clears throat> the entire seam. I feel like I'm saying the wrong words. <laughs> oh goodness. I really miss sewing. Maybe one day I'll get another sewing machine. I love these colors, I tell ya. I'm very glad I picked this out. Actually, I had picked this out to put it on my, is it like a bind, a binder, binding? And I changed my mind after I saw it together. <laughs> I said, no. And I bought so much that it was enough for some king size pillowcases. When I used to quilt, I had a big quilting uh, stand. It was enough where you can you could quilt with six people around it. I used to leave that set up in my living room. I was pregnant with my first son and I was sitting there hand quilting a king size quilt. And I did finish it. It took me two years, but I finished it. <laughs> well close to two years. It, it was my son was almost two when I finished that. Now, what I do is take this, just flip it, flip an edge on it. I don't measure it. I don't have anything to measure it with. I just kind of eyeball it. I just hand press it first, and then I hit it with the iron.
and then I flip it down again, measuring kind of with my thumbs. Do that for both pillowcases. A little bit too much on this side. There we go. Okay, and then I just press it, and then I sew it. But I'm going to do the other one first, so that way I don't have to stop. Okay, new battery. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. Anyway, I'm getting ready to sew this hem here on on my pillowcase. Let's see if I can get a little closer. I'm still trying to figure out my camera, so forgive me for the delay. Okay, there we go. I put it on the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. I said I, I'm not familiar with this sewing machine oh wait a minute oh i might let me see Ooh, i think i might have it let's see I'll bring some just a hair i do i moved the needle position to the left i show this is down because i wanted it closer to the edge a sewing machine to me I'll gladly take it <laughs> I like brothers just saying I'm sewing the the piece that goes up here to cover the the bed that's up there just a piece of fabric I ironed it flat on the edge and then I just flipped this edge here and I'm sewing that down so that there's no exposed um, end then iron it I just pressed it with my hand See, this is the only piece that I ironed right here, but I'm folding it over like that so that it's covered. And I'm doing another eyeballing of lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. He's not in here. And <laughs> see, 
See, I don't even have, I should have sewed this with the cream colored thread, but I didn't feel like switching out the bobbin. Nobody's gonna look that closely. Somebody's in here to look that closely and that bothers them. Oh well. But if I was sewing for a client, that'd be something different. I used to do that too. at the end. Oops, I gotta take out the safety pin. off this edge here okay and here is the curtain that covers the overhead bunk bed actually not a bunk bed it's just a bed that's on top and it covers all of our little supplies and here are my two my pillow king size pillows cases I love it thanks so much for watching bye bye